everybody. Thank you for joining us again today for Sugar and Crumbs. I've got the wonderful Karen Davies with us, and I know loads of you know her, and you're so excited about her joining us tonight, and not half as excited as we've been. I couldn't actually believe it when she said yeah. <laughs> no, I don't do it. <laughs> so anyhow, she has been stuck in tra traffic, and she come running in at about 10 past seven. We thought she was going to be calm, <laughs> and uh, we're panicking here, but she's brought everything in. I and did, I did scare John and say we brought everything we could take to the end. He's with us. <laughs> and it took five of us to set this up. We've done unboxing, <laughs> on everything, everything, got it all set up for you. So if we feel a bit red in the face, that's exactly <laughs> why. So um, I'm actually not going to do anything tonight. I'm going to watch Karen <laughs> put all the pressure on her. She's going to give you as much time as possible. And then when we come to an end, I'm actually going to tell you um, about how well we did with the Alzheimer's. So I'll do that at the Alzheimer's Society fundraising event. So I'll do that later. Um, but just one thing to remind you, lots of you have complained. Uh, John, just keep your hand off the sound. It's over to sell them. So uh, lots of you complain that you all have proper problems with your Wi-Fi. We thought it was us. We've had two engineers in. It's definitely not us. We've been into the Apple store. And if anyone's got problems with their Apple um, appliances, it's because you've either not done an update, your emails are open, or you've got too many um, applications open. And if you want to shut them, just double press on your phone and if you just double press your home button, that will bring up all the things that you've got open. Switch them off, okay? And if you switch them off, that will give you a better chance of seeing us properly tonight. <laughs> so hopefully we're not going to have any disasters. And I am going to hand you over to Karen. She's brought some new moulds. I put them all on the website. Do remember the names of the moulds that she tells you about because the images that I put on are a little bit too small for our website so they're a bit blurry but I'll sort that out tomorrow and she's also going to tell you about her fabulous sugar paste as well so I'm quite excited to learn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave oh, you as Karen. You. Thank you, okay. Carol. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Well it's great that Carol's asked me here uh, today to show you some of the moulds that I use, how to use them, what you can do with them. There's lots of things here to show you. Um, as you can see, I've brought some cakes with me, so I'll talk through um, some of them and what I'm going to show you. Now, down here on the board, we've got lots of flowers. This is from Alice's new buttercream flower mould. There's actually 12 different items on this mould, from the really big daisy down to a tiny little rosebud, there's pansies, a group of blossoms, um, small daisy, large daisy, ranunculus, quite a few different things. And um, one of the reasons she's called them buttercream flowers is we wanted to be able to replicate the style of some of the buttercream cakes um, without having to use buttercream really in this weather. <laughs> it's a bit of an advantage in this weather today. It's about 30 degrees I think at the moment. Um, so there are actually, this cake I actually knocked in the car, this one isn't complete, I might put some, I'll try and put some flowers on here later. Um, so this is actually covered in buttercream, I can see where I've knocked it with my seatbelt because <laughs> I didn't have a box. Did you have <laughs> Nearly, yeah. <laughs> so if I just move that one out of the way, this cake here, this five tier, um, I've just used the flowers to do, to cover the sides of the cake. When I do cakes like this, you can just co actually cover the top of the cake with sugar paste and then use them and overlap them slightly on the sides. So they're just moulded, put on no colour, nothing, just left as they are straight from the mould. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you, the flowers um, from that. Then later on, we've got a cake here, this other four, well, five tier cake with the ornate pearls on, that's this mould here. This has been very popular since we brought it out. Can't make them fast enough, can you, Barry? No. <laughs> it curses it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So this one here, um, Christina Ludlam made this cake for me, but it's it the mold. It's been molded in pink, like a dusky, dark, dusky pink, and then she's painted the gold onto the paste there. Um, and there's also on this our Art Deco filigree at the bottom, which I'll try and fit in, showing you later. And she's actually covered this at the top here, this ball or sphere for a nice top tier 
It's great. It's a nice top decoration, that, instead of flowers. And, yeah. You know. It's absolutely it's beautiful. totally different, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I Sorry, Carol. It's all right. No, I'm just going to comment. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. What I would ask you, though, is, mm -hmm. is that very easy to put together? Yes. Is it? Yes, pretty much. You will yeah. see later. <laughs> <laughs> sure you know, quick, Fantastic. How quick that mould is to use. It's very, very quick. Super. Yeah, and then just in front of that cake there, we've got the bamboo, which I'm going to show you, and the sugar flowers on the bottom here. That, again, that's a very, very quick cake. But on but that, see this here. I think yeah. this is amazing. The bamboo. Yeah, I think it looks so realistic. Yeah, yeah, and it's so easy. Really? Like, oh yeah, 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 really easy. Because those are one of the mm. things I like. I love mm. your molds. Yeah. And then when I bought them, and then yeah. I thought, crikey, how am I going to do this? Mm. So uh, I'm looking forward yeah. to. Yeah. So yeah. You know, I think a lot of people look at things like that and they think, you, you know, oh, I'm not artistic. I can't do that. I'm not artistic. But when I show you later how easy it is. Yes. We're all going to be really Karen Davies mad. Surprise! <laughs> so the flowers on that are actually made from cutters, rose yeah. petal cutters, and the um, petals filled, yeah. and you know the complicated way. Down on the table in front of the cake, so we've got some cookies that Alice very very quickly made this morning. Yeah. Um, and on that is the flower, the apple blossom flower from the the buttercream flowers mold. So we're going to remake. The well, Alice is going to remake a bamboo cake right. using the flowers from the other, the new mould, the buttercream mould, on it instead of these um, cut-out flowers. So that's, that's quite an old cake. We've had that one a few years. So yeah. I hope I hope people aren't seeing all the dust. No, no, that's fantastic. <laughs> these cakes travel up well. They're dummies <laughs> underneath, but they travel an awful lot. They've just been to Germany about a month ago. Then back home, and then back over to Holland, and then back again. So they do get they do a little well. bit uh, damaged. So the other side here, if we swing across to the other side, we've got the driftwood cakes. And this is another mould that's very popular. I'm going to show you how to do the driftwood on here. Oh, I love that. KD on there. That was a bit oh, cute, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, Christina did this for us as well. How cute was so that? So it's also got the rope on. Yeah. That's included in the driftwood mould, the rope. And the shells and if you look closely here at this this decoration on the front can you see the bride and groom she's very cleverly used the shells as the dress and oh, yes, some yes, colored yes. stones in the shape of a bride and groom she's yeah. really clever it's yeah. she's clever yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that cake um in front then we've got the driftwood again here with the rope the yeah, beach I love that rope effect yeah it's very, yeah, really very, nice. very handy for a lot and of things. And the driftwood on this cake is absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. So yeah. what have you done with this Alice here then? Yeah, she's painted it. Just painted right. it with powder colour mixed really? with alcohol. Yeah, just just some painted it on. Yeah. Right, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And the top, the hut on the top is um, a patchwork cutter's right, make yeah. a shed. That one, a patchwork cutter's make yeah. a shed. But she's just changed it and embossed it with the wood. And yeah. the roof is our, um, the wicker, yeah. rustic wicker. So did you get that there, John? So yeah. this shed was made with the patchwork cutters yeah. and then the roof has been made mm -hmm. with their wicker yeah. on the top, their wicker mm -hmm. mould. Yeah. And what have you made with the sun then? What's ah, that? That's soft brown sugar. Right. A lot of people oh, ask that at the show. So when you see yeah. the cake out, it's just soft brown sugar. Super. So very easy. And then just in front of this cake here, we've got one of the birds yeah. there. Little He's bird love that. He's lovely. How did you make just him? A, he's just a very, very simple shape. The yeah. head and body are all in one. I pulled the tail out a little bit at the back. Yeah. The wings were attached afterwards. But I've snipped him with scissors yeah. to get him fluffy. Yeah. And then let him dry and then dusted him with um, black and grey colours. Oh, well, he's really cute, face. isn't he? And, used, and again, yeah. you've used the driftwood on here yeah. in the shelves, mm -hmm. the roof. Yeah. yeah, and the water in the top is piping gel. Right. Mm-hmm. Right, very good. Okay, Love so it. finally, <laughs> yeah. if we swing over here to this one. This is again, that's this is the ornate pearls here. But some cakes, <coughs> excuse me, are just doing white, like I've done with the sugar flowers. Yeah. Um, because it shows you that you really don't have to do much to them at all to get a nice effect. And the same here in the middle with the sugar flowers, and it's also got the sugar flower garland. And that's all made with one mould, that isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, that's a big mould. So yes, to me, I, I feel as though I could do that one. Yeah. <laughs> he's, white, he's white in colour as well. <laughs> when, sorry, that was my water. <laughs> yeah, you'll see that later how easy it is. Yeah. And then just here again, we've got the ornate pearls with the Art Deco filigree. 
but that shows it in a different way to on the other ornate pearl cake because on the other one it was flat and yeah. coloured and painted gold yeah. and this cake here because a lot of people ask if they join up they will you can join it for taller cakes yeah. but you do get a slight a slight join you can I was see say it's only slight isn't yeah it? the pattern does match up and they meet about halfway across yeah. you know so you're not you won't have straight lines of joins up up the cake um so i just fill in with softened sugar paste or yeah. white icing let it dry and then brush over with the luster because i actually brush luster into the mold yeah. to get the real shine on the cake. Well, that looks beautiful. And how have you done your little later. beads on the top? That's our pearl, from our pearl border. Yeah. We've got a single and double pearl border. That just finishes it off. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I have to say, they're beautiful. Barbara's getting married again, John. We knew in our vows, we knew where to go to. Are <laughs> <laughs> so you choking there, Barbara? So we are having a problem with our internet. So we are having a problem with our internet, so let me just talk to everybody. So I know that we are sticking, but just persevere with us. I did put a message on last week about, you know, clearing your, your apple. So quite a lot of you are saying, wow, wow, wow. So just give Karen a big wave or a big love heart to say what you think about it all, guys. Because she's brought loads here, and this is what we want to see. There we go, there's all these lovely, wonderful love hearts. Come on in, so let's give her a boost. So all those late people who are having trouble, go and restart your phone again. <coughs> so there's lots of coming through here, Karen. Oh, so Karen's actually nice. going to do a demo for you now. So please keep it motivated, keep going. Let her know how fabulous she is. It is nerve-wracking going live, especially when you've got no one to talk to. And as you know, John doesn't say anything. <laughs> And if we do a quick flash at Barry in the corner. He'll say plenty. I'm sure, I'm sure when I forget things, he'll prompt me. That's what I want. I'm just the van driver. Oh, he's the van driver. So, yeah. Pro promotion. promotion. Barry the van driver is in the corner. So what are you going to do first, uh, then, well, Barry? Well, I'll do, I'll do a few of these sugar flowers. Fantastic. And show you how quick they are. Because I think when you look at this cake here, you might think, oh, well, that could take forever, that'll take a long well, time. Well, I've got to do this, I thought that. Well, no, yeah. I don't think it does. You see how okay. quick they are. Um, I always use corn flour in the mould. Yeah. Okay, not icing sugar, corn just flour. corn flour, and then just pat it out. That's quicker than brushing it in yeah. and everything. Just what about all the little deep out. bits? Will that not matter? No, it's fine. That's, yeah. they, that's got a nice very thin layer now of yeah. corn flour in it. I don't use yeah. grease or trex because I might want to colour the flowers straight away, like yeah. this, you know, as soon as it comes out of the mould you can colour them with your dust powders, yeah. you don't have to wait then for the treks or white, white fat yeah, that's true. or anything, yeah. it's ready to go. So, okay. like I mentioned before, I'm going to use our sugar paste, right? Now this, since we started to uh, get this in stock, it's very, very popular, yeah. there's either vanilla or marshmallow flavour. And they're in one kilo pack. One kilo pack. Mm. Um, now, the marshmallow is slightly more popular, yeah. but the vanilla, it's, it's still, it's lovely. I think marshmallow really nice. would just be a trend, isn't it, because people don't get marshmallow. Yeah, I think a lot of people get the marshmallow for children's cakes yeah. as well, yeah. um, but it is really nice. And I will say, Karen, you brought that tonight, so anybody who's interested in Karen Davies' uh, sugar paste, she's actually brought it with me and I've put it online on the website, and it's £6.50 a kilo, which is an amazing price. I think that's an absolute well, bargain. It's, it is. Are you going to tell us how good it is One of the reasons, one of the reasons it's good, you know, you might think it's £6.50, it's a lot, but it isn't because that packet, I mean, the use-by date on them is about a year and a half. Which is fantastic. This is this is next August, I've had this one. This yeah. is the end of the last batch. Yeah. Um, but the, I think I've probably bought you, we'll look at the dates later yeah. to tell people yeah. because there is... They do have good dates on, but once that's opened, it keeps so well. Oh, does it? I've got a box here of coloured pastes that I was using in Germany, and yeah. I kept them for Holland. Yeah. And I keep using them as long as you wrap them in polythene, yeah. not cling film, yeah. because cling film still breathes. Oh, does and, it? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. So that maybe it's where I'm going wrong with mine. It's then. really <laughs> important to put in polythene and then pack them into a Tupperware box with a lid, yeah. sealed Tupperware box, or whatever. Super. So it keeps... And well, I actually think it's very reasonably priced, Karen, because I sell quite yeah. a bit well, of them. Well, this one, when I'm demonstrating it and people say, what are you using in the moulds? I say sugar paste. So they say, oh, sugar paste fondant. So I said, no, my sugar paste, sugar paste. fondant. It's yeah. different. It's not the same. Um, if you feel that... I mean, this is a really warm day, isn't it? Yeah. A sticky day. 
<laughs> I'm just going to pinch a piece to tell them how lovely it is. Oh, yeah. I've got to keep up the calories, Karen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've so, had nothing for tea. So it works. Someone, someone's asked the question, how is sugar paste different to fondant icing? It's, this, it's an American term, really, fondant, isn't it? And mm. fondant here, it used to be, um, you know, well, the sugar to yeah. make, like, the... the Icing on ice buns, Chelsea yeah. buns, that sort of really I've got to be honest, it can confuse me because I only came yeah. into the baking world four years ago. Yeah. So when people said to me fondant, I didn't get it because yeah. I thought it was that, like when you go buy those cheap buns from the supermarket with glazed pink yeah. on and glazed yeah, yeah, white yeah. on. Yeah, to yeah, me, that's what that we was fondant. Always call yeah. fondant. Or those little cheapy cupcakes that you bought yeah. with a little yeah. top on. But Americans call sugar paste fondant. Yeah. So that's the. Um, so we've got so that I'll just guys. explain a bit of this and then I can carry on talking. Yeah. Um, so, as I say, right either. straight from the packet, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, I was going to say, because it keeps so well, you're not throwing any away yeah. either. When I, uh, like before I had this years ago, I used to use sugar paste and add tylo powder to it yeah. or flour paste. Well, that's going to be and then I'd go back sure. a few weeks later, I think, oh, I've got some pink already coloured. Go to get it out of the box. And it's gone hard, dried, yeah. and gone crusty. You couldn't yeah. use it, you throw it away. Yeah. So, but, but with this, it will keep so well. Honestly, I'm not making that up. It really does. Um, right, so you just put your paste in. This one I'm actually making a little bit shallower because that's quite a... Oops, see how sticky it is? It's quite a deep flour. Um, now, I've put corn flour in. You saw me put the corn flour in before. Normally, when I get it out of the packet, I just knead it with my thumb like this to make it smooth underneath before I put it in. So it's, if it's quite a flat shape, just flatten it out a little bit, put it into there... Now, as I keep saying, it's very hot and sticky. So I've got I think some we've all suffered with that this week. Corn flour on I think my fingers. A nightmare with their cakes. Yeah, I'm just adding a bit there because I didn't put quite enough in. I think um, Alice, I, I'm pretty sure she's put the weights, yeah, the weight for every flour so you can weigh your paste. Sometimes with the very small ones, that's a little bit trickier yeah. because the three gra there's three grams and there's three grams. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just over two grams and just <laughs> under four grams can be about absolutely. a third more paste. Yeah. So it is more difficult. With, but it's just a guide for you. It's easier with the bigger weights. So when I've put that in, I've pressed hard. It's level at the back. It's not like this. And it's not going over the edge. Okay. And that will come out very easily, you see? Yeah, it's fantastic. Even on a day like this. Yeah. It's so humid and sticky, there's no need to put them in the freezer. You've got the right type of mould, the right type of paste, so it works perfectly. So I'll just keep going, just no keep worries. doing these. I'm just going to tell everyone, Caroline's actually joined us, so if anybody's asking questions, um, give Ch Caroline a chance to answer. And as you know, we all work as a team and as a group here, so if you've heard a question, seen a question pop up and you know the answer, Karen's answered it for you. Um, answer for everybody else, will you? So let's all work together. Because <laughs> as you know, as much as I, I'm actually having the joy of being behind the camera tonight watching John, but I still, you're still too far away for me to read the questions. So I do know some of you are having problems still with your internet, with your iPads. I don't know what to say to you, but I did post a message on that you needed to... Go and update your settings and you have to go and clear your home screen. So, and turn off your emails, anything you can to give yourself more strength. But I was told that if we, um, if our filming disconnects here, then it's us and we're not, we're flying here. So it's definitely you guys. So I'm going to put you back to Karen now. She's, going to, she's done a few more for you. Yeah, technical issues. Technical <laughs> issues. Difficult. I think Apple's oh. going to not going to lose a few customers because it's only oh. Apple customers with the problem. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Right. So yeah, depending on the size, obviously, and the shape, what you put in. If you let me put too much in this, so I can show you taking off. So there we go. I've put too much in my rosebud. So again, you're just pressing down and cleaning up the edge. Then push it to one edge and just push it off with your thumb like that. Okay, there's no need to use a knife or anything. And then just turn it over and it falls out. So there's no need, you don't even have to go around loosening it or anything. No, because it's really, really it's already loose. It, you know, it's not gone in and stuck or anything. So it comes out really Very easy. Very mm -hmm. So the big daisy. Now this big daisy, you can actually do a really big size. Yeah. A middle size or a small. Oh, how clever yeah, is by putting in. 
How well, clever is these that? things happen. <laughs> <laughs> you look at it I, afterwards and you think, oh yes, yeah. oh, oh yes, I'm glad I did. Yeah, that one. how clever are you? <laughs> oh, no, it's not clever, just, just look. Right. I must say though, your moulds are absolutely beautiful quality though. They're really lovely yeah. and thick, really yeah. very, very yeah. nice. We, we did, when we started off, that was the one thing we wanted to do, was make sure we had really good quality silicon, that they weren't going to give people problems yeah. in years to come, yeah. you know, and then hence give us problems in years to come. We wanted something we could guarantee would last you a lifetime under normal use. And I also and see on your, when I'm writing about mm -hmm. you, it says you can use your mould set. It's not just for sugar paste, you can use it for clay, you can use it for biscuits. Yeah, for oh yeah, yeah. And lots of different crafts. There's air dry clay, FIMO, I don't know them all, the names. Because no. um, like when you said you can use yeah. them for biscuits, like that's a biscuit one there, isn't yeah, it? You've yeah. made there. Yeah. So, I mean, that's lovely, that, yes. isn't it? How lovely yeah. to give the kids these and, I, they're, just, and yeah. they're just biscuits. I will go through that as well yeah. later. I've got the rest as well oh, you've got to use to you can't just use any cookie Patience. dough you know i've seen people say no do you just get cookie dough put it in the molds yeah no you need a dough that doesn't rise it's because the current davies way you're not actually baking the cookie in the oven with the mold you're yeah. just molding them like i'm doing now yeah. with the flowers you see how easy well, that comes out. out yeah um yeah you're just um molding lots of them put them on a baking tray but i'll okay. explain it all later so um that's uh, as many as I'll do for now, because I do have quite a lot. I made mean, them, yeah. <laughs> just here in the box. Like, so, uh, yeah, I don't probably need them all. So I was just going to put, carry on putting a few flowers on here to yeah. show you what I do putting them on. Um, and another thing I did, um, where can we see on this tier here? I've put little tiny, a little tiny, tiny group of flowers, which is from the, the bigger, this one here. But what I do is I just put a little bit of corn flour into the mould and then a tiny piece of paste like that into the middle and just press. Oh, so you just get a little one? Yeah. And and that that you get little, little, fillers, little gap one. fillers. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is, when you're doing things like this and the flowers are different shapes and sizes, you, you look at it and you think, oh no, what am I going to do? I've done, you think you've done it wrong, but you haven't, you know. If there is an awkward gap, I won't put that one on yet because we have one there. I try and put different flowers um, away from each other. So, yeah, let's put this one on. So, I just got glue made with Tylo powder. And that's already set a firm enough now for you to put on, Karen. Um, yeah, well, it's still soft. I, what I do, if I was doing this cake, I would mould as many as I could till I started getting a bit fed up. Yeah. Almost like dying to put them on the cake yeah. as you do like that <laughs> bit better, don't you? Um, and then they set like these were made this afternoon, yeah. So I know when I put that on, I can press that quite firmly, yeah. They've only been in the Tupperware box, but you'll see if you feel that now, yeah, it's just set a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, that's lovely. I've actually got some discs of paste to show people the difference in the pastes. So, yeah, any gaps like there now, I might think, oh, I'll put a leaf there, so I'll just pull the flower forward. Sometimes I don't realise I want a leaf until I've put a flower on, but it's not too late because I just pull it forward and then put the leaf behind. Oh, sorry, that's an awkward angle, isn't it? Yeah, there okay. you go. Is that okay now? Yeah. And then I love putting the big daisy on. Yeah. Because <laughs> it takes up a lot of space there. So that will fit quite nicely just into there. Yeah. And so on. So that's it. That's all you do. Yeah. I did actually just do this as a four tier cake, but I decided I liked it so much I wanted to uh, carry on. Yeah, <laughs> go mad, put some more on. Yeah, we'll just put a bud there, nice rose bud. So you can obviously colour them. I've got some coloured flowers there. So if I just colour a few to show you. Um, can you just tell us the name of the mould again, please, Karen? The buttercream uh, flowers. Buttercream flowers. flowers. Yes. It's on our website. Buttercream with the inspiration. Yes. <laughs> so it's buttercream flowers. They're on our website and they're seventeen ninety nine for that mould. And you get all these flowers. And if you show them what flowers they can create, job. Yes. So this there. one mould can create all these different types of flowers. You know, some of them are the same. Look, you know, the same, but they're just picked, dusted differently. So they look, they look amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many different ways, different, I'm trying to find some examples. Of well, a pansy is a good one. Let's line up a few pansies in different colours there. Yeah. Can't see them all now. There's another one, a pale one. Yeah, so, yeah, it just depends on, 
you know, how you colour them. And I love that little cluster. I love that. There. That's my favourite one yeah. out of these. That these looks are, really pretty, these doesn't are lovely. it? Yeah. And I can imagine a little border yeah. in these. You know. Yeah, they're really cute. They're nice. And that's the one I just did the tiny piece in to get the smaller yeah. little flower there. You, can, you probably won't see very yeah. well, but uh, that's it. So, so, can you use these for chocolate? Um, yes, you can. Chocolate paste works brilliant. You know the, cho the chocolate yeah. paste you can get like from Squire's Kitchen or wherever. Um, and you can put chocolate in them, but you've got to temper the chocolate. Which <laughs> I'm not going to take a deep off. breath there. Yeah, I'm not going to I that did one. it in college. I'm not saying how many years ago because I can't remember. I've been shown several times. Oh, I still don't get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I did do it. I did do it. I think it's when they told me I had to buy a marble slab or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, so tempered chocolate, they will work better, they, you know, because if you don't, if you just melt chocolate and put it in, it might look a bit cloudy or dull. Yeah. Unless you want chocolate to have a nice shine or gloss. Good. So, how, how are you sticking the flowers on the cake? Right. What, what that, were you using? I just used edible glue, and I, I think I said Tylo, made with Tylo powder, but I didn't tell you how much. It's one part Tylo powder to 30 parts water. So it's just basically, um, I have got a pot of tile powder that, somewhere. Is that your glue, your mixture you've made yourself? Yes, yeah. So you've made that mixture yourself, that's yeah. not an edible glue that you can buy. No. Because we sell um, yeah. cake style glue that, and Squire's glue. That's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's so perfect. guys, we've got, cake, yeah. we've got Squire's perfect. glue and cake style glue, but Karen actually makes her own, so I'll let her tell you the recipe again. Yeah, it's just one part tile of powder to 30 parts water. Right. So it's really, if I wet that brush, get a damp brush, dip it into the tile of powder, put it, fill the bottle with water and put it in. It's usually enough. Right, works well, out. Okay. Or on the end of a teaspoon handle, yeah. just a scoop. So when we don't sell glue anymore, Karen, we oh, know Oh, sorry. Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're all running it's easier, it's easier, right, it's easier, yeah, isn't it? it? Is. All for easy. <laughs> right, now, I'm going to colour this delicately. Yeah. So I've got powder colour here in the pot. So if you dip, when you colour with powders, just dip in the pot, dab it in the lid and then rub it into kitchen paper because you don't want any loose powder. Mm. So I'm going to start, this is a flat, well flattish, right. <laughs> I think it used to be flat one once, so once upon a time. So before you ask guys, I don't sell powdered, uh, coloured powders. So you'll have to go and get those somewhere else, but come back to us for everything else. <laughs> but you see, you see that now, there's no loose powder falling off the brush mm. and you know, you'd think there wasn't any on there. You can see the colour, but it it just colours up so well. And I always like to do it darker in the centre when I rose. This is like a, a small rose, and then just delicately around the edge. Okay, you could add a little bit of green, little touches of green or whatever. The daisies, you quite often see daisies, don't you, with a little touch of pink yeah, on the edge? So if I just brush that like this, just on the edges, and then some yellow in the centre. Now, if I'm only brushing this on dry, but if you want a um, deeper colour, you would paint it on. Sometimes I'll just brush the colour on first and see if I like it or not, and then think, oh, well. It's amazing the way it pulls it together. How simple is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So come on, yeah, guys, let's yeah. give some waves and lights then. Oh. How are we doing? This one Alice did, so yes. hers is dark. She used yeah. a darker like colour. Color, isn't yeah, it? and there's a tiny, I think there's a little hint of green. Yeah. Alice is probably watching me now. <laughs> so Alice, anything you want to add that I'm doing wrong, <laughs> please tell me. It takes about 30 seconds to come through to us apparently. Is your daughter like my daughter tells your mum yeah. you didn't say this, you didn't say that. <laughs> Well, yeah, all the yeah. loves and likes are coming oh, through. Yeah. So let's keep it up for Karen then, how well she's doing. So these are looking lovely. Yeah, I did tell her to let me know if there's anything I missed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she said anything yet. I think she's yeah. kept quiet. If you I've suddenly see someone name. saying, Mum, do this, you know who it is. She hasn't commented yet. No, she's quiet. Anyway, so that, they're only just basic sort of colours. I'm trying to think if there's anything more complicated. That, I mean, it's still not complicated, but the little pansy, you just brush the colour on first and then you can paint the darker bits into the So if you were painting it, what would you do? Add water? I, usually, I use alcohol, right. isopropyl alcohol, yeah. more often than not. Um, but a lot of people water, don't want to use alcohol. No, water is fine, and something like this, it's fine, because you're not going to paint another colour over it then yes. as well. 
if you're doing something like a face and you've got to paint white eyes, then the yeah. blue colour, then the black, the alcohol makes it dry really quickly. Right. So you can just keep going, you know, you don't yeah. have to stop and wait half an hour for it to dry. But it's fine, things like that are fine. Yeah. The water on. <clears throat> so I, I could just... you use any other types of colours, not for brushing, but like um I don't suppose you could use like gel colours or anything, it's only powder colours really. Isn't powder, it? Yeah, they're not that good, I don't think, for mm. painting. I haven't done it for years, pe tried painting. I think I did years ago when I started yeah. off, because you do, you're sort yeah. of limited with what you've got. Yeah. Um, but the powder colours give really good, strong colours, and yeah. um, they just work so well, especially with the alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol. Does the colouring uh, change the consistency of the sugar paste? Um, right, there's rules with your colours. When you're colouring sugar paste, if you want that colour, you do not add powder colour, right? Mm. Because you'll use a whole pot yeah. <laughs> getting that for a start. Yeah. It would alter it a little bit, not much. It yeah. wouldn't do that much, to be honest. You know, it's, a, it's, it's like putting that much corn flour it's into your icing. It's quite expensive way to colour, isn't it? That's it, yeah. it's expensive. So yeah. the paste, I haven't got one with me, yeah. but the pots of paste colour are about twice that size, yeah. or you get the tubes. Well, we, we sell really the colour splash tubes and they'll be yeah. absolutely fine. Yeah, so they're like twice the size of this and super concentrated. Yeah. So That's you just right. put it in with a cocktail stick. So there you so go, John, we don't lose sales on colours then. <laughs> We've got the colour splash range, you can colour Carol's oh. sugar paste with all that. And oh. you've all got colour splash, all of you watch anyhow. Now, if I just tilt that a little yeah. bit so you can could see you, it. Could you use an airbrush? Um, yes, so their brush would be good on these, especially the big daisy. Yeah. Would go really well. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm. I've got an air, uh, an airbrush, but haven't really used it that much to be honest at the moment. Um, but little things like that, difficult to airbrush. Yeah. Unless Cassie Brown's watching, she probably tells I was going to say, difference. or Dawn Butler watching, <laughs> yeah, she might Dawn, know. I've know. No, I know nothing they about know. airbrushing. But I think um, Cassie has certainly taken away pieces that I've demonstrated at shows to colour them to airbrush. Yeah. So I think things like this Big Daisy would be great for airbrushing. Yeah. Now, putting them onto here, we've, we've put like a crescent of sugar paste. Like I say, this is buttercream. Covered very, covered very badly by me. <laughs> just, so, just one question on the yeah. colours. You don't. How long do you have to wait from making the mould to putting the colour on? Oh, straight away. Just then. You know, I brushed when I brushed this on. This was a, a piece that had come straight out of the mould. So you see, that's still soft. Yeah. How good is that? Yeah. So it's okay. That's yeah. okay to do. Yeah. And that one as well. That's soft. Yeah. Look at that. So. That's great. You're only brushing it? gently, aren't yeah, you? It's yeah. only the end of the. Of you know. Just gently brush so it have off. you seen what Karen's done under here, John? If you can let everybody see. Yeah, there's a oh, crescent of paste. Yeah, she's we've made it quite big so you can see it. Paste underneath yeah, it's like a moon shape. Yes. Yeah, we made it nice and big so you can see it. Now, um, because this is sugar paste, um, I would stick the flowers on with royal icing. Yeah. Um, now, I forgot to bring the royal icing. There's always something you forget to bring, <laughs> isn't there? So, I'm just wondering what the Guys, flower... we sell pots of royal icing ready-made. Oh, well. And if I'd known Karen needed it, ah, I would have had some here. Would have brought me some. But um, <laughs> we do sell pots of royal icing because I'm not very good at making it myself and those pots are absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So they're on the website as yeah. well. Oh. So, I've just mushed down some sugar paste. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's just as good, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just looks a bit more mucky, doesn't it? Yeah. Because obviously you wouldn't use buttercream for them to stick no. to this here. Um, now sometimes when you're putting flowers onto here, you want flowers that are still a bit soft yeah. to fit into awkward gaps yeah. or whatever. So, ooh, this is very sticky. <laughs> God doesn't want to come off the spoon, it's so sticky. There we go. I must say, Karen, I do love that mould. I think it's so effective. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There's so, just so many possibilities. You know, we've only really just got it ready, so yeah. we haven't done as many cakes as we'd like to do yet. We've got all sorts of ideas going on in our minds. So it's just great when you go like to the NEC and you can take loads of cakes with you to show people. Good idea, John, for lightening up. <laughs> we have more light. She was taking me every two minutes. Uh, yeah, so that's it. You know, you just carry on. Just put your flowers and leaves wherever you want. Okay. I just need a few more here at the back. Um, 
it's funny because you're sort of looking at them and thinking, what haven't we got yet? What haven't we got? What have you used yeah. for the raised section? Just sugar paste. Just a, just a, yeah. She's just rolled sugar paste. Just sugar and, paste. Um, and then done it into a half semicircle. So it's thicker in the middle and she's rolled it so that it's thinner on the ends and turned it into a half semicircle. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's quite big. So you could see that it's there. Yeah. Okay. And she's built it up quite high. I think it's at least an inch high, isn't it? Yeah, here it is. Yeah. 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 So in the centre, it's an inch thick and then it gets thinner. So what do we think, guys? What a, a beautiful, amazing cake this is. Okay, so it's not quite finished yet, but I want to move on to so many things. There's some little <laughs> cookies there I've just decorated. Well, I was decorated with just the daisy on. So it's just a cookie base. Um, that's actually the wicker, but it looks like grass, doesn't yeah. it? Do the moulds dry hard? Um, the sugar paste, that I'm, my sugar paste, is that yeah. what they mean? Yeah, okay, so. right, this is the ideal opportunity then, let's have go. a look. Sorry. Right, I've got some little, little letters on there, you can hardly see. I made these today, right, it's quite humid and sticky, yeah. so it's not, you know, the same day normally we would have. Um, when sugar paste's like this, it's not on a cake. If that had been on a cake, that would be softer now. It would have stayed yeah. softer anyway. But this, is, this isn't our sugar paste. It's not ours. This is just an ordinary shop-bought sugar paste. It's still quite soft and yeah. soft to eat, okay? This is our sugar paste. And again, it's very flexible. It's just our, it's just cracking, yeah. but it's still soft. Yeah. It's more a stretchy sort of soft, isn't it? Yeah. That's still soft. And then this is one I did with Tylo powder. <laughs> so okay. really, um, I mean, this I think I'd put probably two teaspoons, five grams, something like that, mm -hmm. into 500 grams of uh, yeah. paste. So that is starting to go hard. It's not quite snapping yet, but yeah. it is getting quite tough to eat. Okay, and it's the weather as well. Yeah. Normally, it would dry a lot quicker than that. And, and I know older. people are going to ask, when you're using yeah. your sugar paste carrier yeah. for cooking cakes, yes. you always hear this terminology about elephant skin and things like that, yeah. and tearing yeah. and ripping. Yeah. Do you want to tell us how good yours is right. for well, cooking well, a cake? Right. Because they're all going to ask. Yeah, right. It depends um, how big. I always think covering a really big cake is always going to be difficult. This is quite a firm paste. Um, I prefer, if I'm going to cover a cake with it, I'll make sure it's quite soft and pliable, but don't need too much icing sugar into yeah. it when you're needing it um, to roll out. Um, you can, if you want to, you, if you've got a favourite sugar paste now that you like to use, but you don't like the taste, and you like the taste of this one better, I know somebody who does half and half. Yeah. They'll use a packet of this, and because this might be slightly more expensive, than a cheaper one. They'll mix them yeah. to get the benefits of this and the taste, improve the taste, um, and it's easier for them to use. I mean, this is soft like today, I guess, because yeah. it's so warm. Um, I know, I'm going to apologise for the enjoying fly oh. that's flying around, because <laughs> we've got in. the back door and the windows yeah. open, oh. and he's just come in, he's driving me insane. Oh, dear. So, um, oh. but he's, uh, so I'm sorry, guys, about oh. the fly. Oh. <laughs> but I think, he, wash, I think he wants to be... Um, I think he wants to be in show business, he keeps jumping around. <laughs> could, okay. we, could you use buttercream to fill the moulds and then freeze it before popping the flowers out? Right, yes. This question was asked uh, the other day when this mould came out and Christina Ludlam replied to it saying, which I didn't know, you can add some corn flour to your buttercream. Yeah. Does, does that make sense to you? Or I don't know. You? I wouldn't no. know. She's the expert. <laughs> yeah. She she, yeah, she said if you add that, that um, and then put it into the mould and freeze it, which, because this is such a new mould, I haven't had time yet to try it, Yeah. Um, but I definitely will try and have a look at Carol Knight, I don't know, because you need buttercream a lot. Well, yeah, I know, and I have heard it's going to be the new phase in using yeah. buttercream now for your, for your mould rather than sugar base. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I've not tried it myself go. yet, and I've not made any announcements about it yet. Yeah. Well, it might work well in these. We've got yeah. nice shells there, exactly. buttercream shells. So this lovely. is a new mould that you brought as this well This is today. fairly new. This has been out a while. Alice yeah. um, designed this mould. Um, I mean, all the moulds we do, we're trying to take some of the work out. When you think of the artistry you'd have to use yeah, to make some of these exactly. flowers and things, the, yeah. the knowledge and the skills you've got to have. But 
with the moulds they're done for you. Oh, so really? it's, yeah, absolutely. That's the beauty of them. Yeah. So again, your cornflower. Let's do this piece of wood here. Piece of driftwood. You've got three different pieces, the same size, height. Oh, Christine width. has joined us. Oh, hello, so, Christina. So we can shout out to Christina now because she's oh. just joined us. So Christina, we've just had the question: Can we put buttercream in the moulds? And um, if you can give us an answer, we'll be very grateful. Yeah. We know we can, but we don't know what to do with it. Yeah. So, uh, she did say something about the uh, cotton shorts cold flower into it. So yeah. So hopefully if she's going to yeah. answer. She's just joined us, so <laughs> hopefully she gets to see us and she can answer about using uh, buttercream in Karen's moulds. And that's what a lot of people wanted to know. How do they do that? So, okay. but while, while she gets that together, let's go back to this driftwood. Right, the driftwood. This I coloured, it's our paste again, obviously. Coloured with dark brown paste, but not put much in. I just want a light brown because I want to colour it afterwards. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, with this one, you could use a bigger piece of paste and roll it in. But mm -hmm. I'm just going to do the one piece to show people. Oh, so you could get three pieces in one go, yeah, you mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. I'm so, yeah. I would never have thought of that. Yeah, well, some of the, when I do the other moulds later, I'll be rolling the paste in, but yeah. for now, I'll just show you. I'm just doing one with my fingers. And I'm taking it to the corners to take off. Okay, so level with the back, not going over the edge. I know I've pressed firmly, turn it over. Oh, my goodness, how good is that? Easy, yeah. okay. Now, um, we're going to colour it. So again, we want flat dusting brushes. Brown powder first. So you used a light, a dark brown um, paste to give it, but only a drop yeah. to give it a light yeah. colour. Yeah. And now you're using the dark now, brown powder, yeah. powder just to fill in some yeah, of the Yeah, brown powder. So if you see the flat brush. Yeah. I love using a flat dusting brush because it gets into all these little cracks in the wood. You know, I love it because I didn't know how you did that. How oh. cool is that? <laughs> and then I like to go over a little bit. And that's funny, three, the driftwood cakes here, three different people have made. So okay. the driftwood looks different on each cake. <laughs> so that's just them using different colours then? Yeah, so just from, yeah. Let's take it around. Yeah. So Karen says three different people have made different these different cakes. So we've got driftwood here, and that's how this person has coloured it. And then we've got another one over here. And another one on the back, and yeah. they are very um, different in yeah, colours, aren't yeah. they? You see, just look at one of them, it's fine, isn't it? You yeah. Know, they're all fine. Yeah, it just all depends lovely. what look you want. Yeah. I've got a tiny little bit of black on my brush now. Right. A tiny bit of black on, John. Yeah, just put that in a few places. And you see, the way I'm doing it, it's, it's not being artistic or anything. It, it looks artistic to me, <laughs> but it is easy. <laughs> now you're watching, it does yeah. look easy. Yeah. Um, oh, the other to give it a go. Yeah, the other colour I quite like putting on is a bit of pink, a pale pink, which sounds a bit daft. But when you're thinking of driftwood, it's something that's very old and it's been washed up on the beach. Yeah. And... See, so you can't really see pink, but it just sort of softens it down a little yeah. bit. And then finally, I like a bit of white. Now, Alice is probably watching this say, saying, oh, I don't do it like that. <laughs> Well, Alice but still hasn't said anything. She hasn't said She's anything. doing yes. really well. <laughs> <laughs> so, she hasn't said oh. anything. I've not seen the name pop up yet. Oh, yeah. Now, there's, sorry, there's a little bit of luster on this. I didn't my want daughter, luster. My daughter Laura's just joined. Oh. So, guys, how do we like what Karen's doing so far? Who's going to have a go at making one of these driftwood uh, um, cakes? Well, not a driftwood cake. Who's going <laughs> to use driftwood? Especially with the summer coming up now. It's fantastic. Lovely for summer wedding. Something a bit different. Mm -hmm. Now I'll do the rope, show you the rope very quickly. We always like to put on our moulds as many oh, things oh, as Oh, our likes and loves are coming in again. Oh. I think they get so engrossed in you, Karen, they're forgetting to press that like button. <laughs> no, that's what I want them to, I want them to watch yeah. and hopefully help them. And, yeah. you know, but we can so. send some love out, you know, your way, let you know how well you're doing. Oh. Right, so this one, putting the uh, paste in for the rope. So yeah. if you make a sausage, Put that in and start to press. It's Push lovely. It it's off your sugar paste going in there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's I'm nice. Just watching it as well. It's well anything, really yeah, viable. anything long like this, long and thin. You go from side to side like that, yeah, and down because it cleans up the edges as you go and it presses it down. If you pre just go along and do that, you just yeah. spread the paste out. So 
So it's side to side and off. Oh, fantastic. Okay, and then that will come out very easy again. Yeah, super. And this, you just make another one and join it up. Right. As you see on the case, she didn't see any joints. Yeah. yeah, and they're so quick, aren't yeah. they? And then the shells again, exactly the same. A little piece of paste into the shell. Do you have any moulds for fairy castle cake, like windows or doors? No, I don't. Sorry, not yet. <laughs> There's an endless list, isn't or, or there? Turrets for a castle cake? No, sorry. We have. I was just going to say we have a new brickwork mould. Yeah, yeah. There's a brickwork. Uh, <laughs> you're just the van driver. <laughs> right, so I've got a little bit of pink on this brush and I can just brush it just there, see onto the end, the point of the shell there and then maybe a little bit more around the top. Yeah, just do that very quickly. They're coloured, the shells are coloured much much nicer on the uh, on the cakes. So, okay, that's your driftwood. That's absolutely beautiful. That, that is very popular. Oh, there's yeah. some more there yeah. as well, so you can see different. Oh, we've got that rope there, so you can show them how just put the couple together. Yeah, it's a it's different colour, but uh, yeah. you can see that. Yeah. So there's an just, obvious choice. Yeah, there's two <laughs> different colours there, but that just shows yeah. how easy it is. You just, make that one, <laughs> you just make that one there. And then make several of yeah, them and then just put together. them there together. Mm -hmm. So um, how easy is that? And then put them around your cake. It's a nice size for rope, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice size because yes. it makes a good border. Or you can just keep going round and round and yeah. round and put lots of them on. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So what's next? Let's see. What's next? Oh, the bamboo. This is nice. The bamboo. <laughs> did you bring your succulent bowl with you? I didn't. Did you not? No. I should have brought one in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure you'll have them soon. <laughs> I've got them. I've got oh, them in got stock. Them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could have. Well, there's some here on the yeah. cake. On so this that's here. Good. John, we've got the new succulent mould that Karen brought out a couple of yeah. months ago. And, um, you know, it's such a beautiful mould. So easy mm. to make those. And they, you can snip the petals yeah. to make them stand up, give them and a more beautiful. 3D effect. Yeah, how beautiful is yeah. that? And these cakes are amazing. A little bit of dust colour, yeah. the burgundy dust on the yeah. edges. So Peggy, Peggy, Loy there, they all think the cakes are absolutely oh, amazing anyhow, oh, which is great. That's nice. <laughs> now, what colour? Oh dear. Well, I'll do the bamboo with this. So, that, Maria yeah. Wilson, is this so is the stones, stones. In, is the stones in that mould? No, I think I've shown. I think I've shown the stones. Ah, yeah, okay. the, yeah. The stones just um, get different shades of grey and black paste, yeah. and just roll it together. Okay. Just roll them. So there you go. You don't need a mould for the no. stones. So Karen says you just get her sugar paste. Well, well I can make you one if you want. One. <laughs> <laughs> Barry will make one if you really want one. But Karen says just get her sugar paste. Roll some black and grey and then mould them together and just keep blending them together, put bits of whites in. But you've now put an idea in Barry's head. <laughs> so, <laughs> so next year there could be oh. there could be a pebble mould. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Oh done that. Right, so I'm just gonna oh, corn flour, corn flour into the bamboo. Then I've got this colour which isn't perfect. Oh yeah, that'd be quite yeah. good. Okay, so because this is a big bigger shape I'm going to start to roll the paste out before I put it into the mold okay so it's still a bit thick so that's a nice shape as you can see to put into there okay and then just always start them off at the beginning first and then I'm going to roll the paste in, but I've made it, you see, slightly narrower. Yeah. Because when you roll, it fills in to the edges. Mm. If it goes over, just push it back in with yeah. your fingers. If it's going too wide, you just pull it a little bit like that and then roll again. And could you use the sugar paste to cover a cake or is it just yes. for molding and no, decoration? You, you can cover a cake with it, yeah. but like I said, it is a bit firmer than other sugar pastes, apart from today. <laughs> it's a bit yeah, softer today. Say, yeah, yeah, it's easy, it'd be easy it's today. Yeah, it is a bit firmer. Yeah. Well, that's, that's absolutely why. boiling in here yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah, that's why it works in the moulds, because <laughs> it is <laughs> a firmer paste. 
Wings. <laughs> no, if anybody wants to get rid of their bingo wings, cover a cake. <laughs> and then that will just fall oh, wow. out. How lovely is that? That does look better actually. Yeah. When I got the colour out the bag, I thought, ugh. Yeah, <laughs> but that lovely. looks better. So this yeah. is the fun bit now. This is the good bit, colouring it. Yeah. It looks really nice coloured and really easy to do. Yeah. So start with the brown again and a flat brush. And then I like to just brush up and down between each stem. I need a bit more on actually. Sometimes I'm too careful with the colour. I just yeah. hate powder colours going everywhere. Yeah. That's a waste as well, yeah. isn't it? So you see the difference now? Yeah. We're starting to see the more realistic yeah. sort of look. So what I'll do, I'll colour half of it so you can see the before and after. Yeah. So you go up and down between each one and then the edges as well, a little bit. And then maybe across a bit to bring out some of that detail. Oh, look see at the, that. Yeah. Are you clever you are, aren't you? Well, it was Alice. Alice <laughs> did this. I would never one. have thought of that. Yeah, Alice did this <laughs> moment. So, yeah. And it's great this time of year. It's very um, useful for this time of year. Yeah. So now, she's. I think on her cake there, the wedding cake, she has used lots of shades of brown. Yeah. You know? But this is a very, very quick, quick version. It, it, and showing it quick... Because um, you've only got so much time. Yeah, well, so showing it quick quite a lot is there. quite helpful to people. What yeah. you can achieve in a short amount of time, if you want to spend more time on them, you can really go to town, you know, colouring yeah. them. Now, where these joints are, I forgot to do that. You can do that with some brown as well. Over the little joints. Oh, that really pulls out. it yeah. out, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And then yeah. I also like to put a little bit of green here and there as well. If you've got this in the garden, <laughs> you can actually go and get a piece and <laughs> copy the colour. It's, it is useful sometimes yeah. having the uh, actual piece. Right, really. And then very, very little muster. I don't know whether Alice does uh, this list wrong or not, but uh, I like just to... That's too much again. Just a That's tiny... When I see all your cakes at the cake shows, they're just blinging yeah, out there. Yeah. They look fantastic. Yeah, that's probably too much luster, but I just like to make it look a bit shiny. Yeah. Okay, there's also a leaf. We've got the little leaves here on this mould as well, so it's nice doing some green leaves and you can put them coming out from the top or the bottom or whatever. That looks really nice. We've got a nice panda cake. There's instructions for the panda model. Oh, actually. is there? Yeah, with the mould. So, next. <laughs> Getting through them. This fly wants to be a celebrity. Oh. And then I'm going to get in. <laughs> It's all the cakes, all the sugar. He thinks he's gone to heaven. <laughs> right, now, this one, the pearl, um, the ornate oh, no, pearls. Yeah. This so is this one, one is this, this cake one here, then, isn't it? Yes, this so one sure. here. This and cake here, no. And the two at the back, one each yeah. end at the back as well. So Karen's okay. just going to show how this so one's made. I will do this in a coloured paste, so yeah. it's easy to see. Because if I do it just white, it's not going to maybe pick up as much on the camera. Yeah. So obviously pearl, the white is going to be more popular, but um, I'll do it in a colour. So just brush the lustre well in. And we'll find a nice colour to do. That's blue. I don't think I dare ask how you got it round that ball. Christina Ludlum did it for me. She's going to have to explain herself, Christina. Oh. She's joined us, so oh. she could. She, we'll, see, we'll, we'll get everybody to send a message as to how I should do it around the wall. Yeah, I've now got two flies good. in the kitchen driving me mad. <laughs> right, I'm just kneading this to get it nice and smooth because if you just start to roll paste out, it, that's when it does crack. Yeah. So. Just get that pliable. Which oh, that's is... quite a good tip then, isn't it? So if you just get mm -hmm. it out of the packet and try and roll it, you really do need yeah. to work it. And yeah, it this isn't it. too bad. I mean, you don't really need to do that much to it. And I've noticed you've not got a lot of um, cornflour on the top there, have you? No. It's going quite nicely. No, no. Well, this is good. This is a lovely wooden top that I'm covering with luster. <laughs> don't worry. Be careful, me. You won't ask <laughs> me <work>. back. <laughs> it gets nifty nozzles, puts oh. cream over it every week. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> So, I don't know, it's funny, isn't it? Some days I, I do need icing sugar or cornflour or whatever. I mean, I don't normally roll out with cornflour. I always roll out on icing sugar. 
if you're covering a cake or whatever, but uh, obviously with the mould I use corn flour. So I just need to, it's still a bit thick actually, what you sometimes you can do, if you put that next to your mould to yeah. roll out the strip of paste, you know when you're almost Done. there, yeah. that's still a little bit too thick, but just another couple of rolls will do it. Okay, far too much as usual. So, we'll just turn it over, pop it into the mould, and start it off at the beginning like I did before. Okay, now it's still a bit wide, so if I hold that end and just stretch it like that, that's ready to roll in now. So just start to roll. This is where I get very hot. <laughs> so it's only gone over the edge slightly, so you just push it back with your fingers. And then I'm going to roll again, so just pull that a bit more. And how quickly, Karen, once mm. you take that out of the mould, yeah. how quickly would you want to put that onto the cake? Straight away. Straight away. Yeah. So have your cake ready. Yes. Ready and your buttercream. Like I did say earlier, some people might have missed that. When you're using this mould and the sugar flowers and the driftwood, um, the bamboo, they are your side coverings for your cake. Yeah. So you can just actually cover the top of your cake. Yeah. You don't have to put sugar paste round the sides as no, well. Right. So that yeah, makes it easy. Because yeah, a lot of course. people worry about you know covering a cake. I still worry about covering getting a good covering yeah. on cakes because um you can knock it or you know something can happen. But yeah. with these you're just moulding it and putting it straight on. So yeah. you'd have your buttercream or your apricot jam, whatever it is you're using, or your alcohol, oh, so if it's marked cover it then and put it straight on, really? yeah, straight fantastic. on to your cake. Right. Because the depth of them, the thickness is perfect. Well, I've got to be honest, I thought that you had to use sugar mm -hmm. paste for the whole cake mm -hmm. and then put these on as well. No. And that's what I would have done. No. No. <laughs> so I'm glad I asked no. the question. So this is ready to come out now, okay? Yeah. It's not okay. stuck, it'll be very, very quick and easy. You ready? Yeah. Wow. Just peel it off. Yeah. So, that yeah. luster brush, I need a bigger luster brush really. Um, now you just polish it over with your luster. You see the difference yeah. now? Beautiful. With that, hopefully the camera can see that's picking it up. But you see the difference? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, I can see the difference. I don't know whether anybody else can. Okay, I'm looking no. lost my luster. Let's go around that side and have a look. Getting it from that angle. Yeah. There's a lot of light under here, though. Sometimes, yeah, when there's false light, it is yeah. difficult to see, exactly. to pick up. So sometimes when we photograph or have the cakes photographed, the luster can be a bit of a nuisance to uh, yeah. get right. So, you see now, that even though the paste is quite soft and it's so warm and sticky, yeah. That would now go straight on to your, to your cake, cake, to the side of your cake. Yeah. Okay. And they're a good width, they're a good yeah. depth. But you can, like I said, you can join them. But your next, your join would be here. Yeah. You see, and that yeah, side just... fits into that side. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Love so it. you could use, you can use this um, for lots of different occasions, for your weddings. And yeah. Whatever. Well, I think that's a beautiful mould, absolutely. But I have yeah. to say, every mould is beautiful, so I'm going to be on repeat. That's the best angle, actually. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can use, if you've got a round cutter, you can cut out circles for cupcake tops. So you've got pearl cupcake tops. So I'll show you this one, because this is very similar to use. I just get some mold. more paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's it survived. Oh. It's looking great. How well is that? Oh, let's have a nice... So is this the sugar flowers? Yes, this is yes, the sugar this is flowers. flowers. Another favourite. So the sugar flowers, John, if you just look behind that little cake there in the middle. Oh yes. Is the sugar flowers there. Nice. And that's what Karen's using this mould now. So this for this one I just use corn flour again. The cake there, yes. is that just the one strip of you had to put a joint no, on? No, that's there? that's one on both of them. That was the width. Right. The one width. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, that's the same there, the top one, but I think because it's a smaller cake, it looks It does look taller, taller, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't, I was looking there, see if I've trimmed it or anything. <laughs> yeah. Making that bit up or not. And the pearl so. one that Karen's just um, used, used, John, is the cake next to it. So if you go to that cake there, 
the mold that she's just used. The light's glaring off things yeah. for some reason. Uh, is it working? Oh, the light turn underneath that? isn't there. Let me just well. turn that light off underneath a minute. So lights are on. Whoops. Oh, yeah. that Does that show better? No, just the white. Marginally. I think it's just white. <laughs> the white. Oh, no. The dark doesn't work. I'm going to try it. Aww. Right, so I'm going to do exactly the same as earlier. What colour are you using on the pearls? Um, it was just white pearl luster, or pearl white luster. Yeah, but what was the sugar Which, paste colour you Oh, that used? sugar paste colour. Um, it might be um, ice blue or gentian. It's just a turquoise. It's a very... Not oh, much uh, colour in it a, at all. Turquoise it. paste colour, yeah. I think. I can't remember. They all have such yeah. <laughs> fancy names, yeah, don't they? Do. they? Um, yeah. Mm. But that, it would yeah, only it be a be dot, be though, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not yes. much at all. Yeah. So the same with this one. I'm starting to roll it out, just so it's easier to get into the mould. You know, it makes sense when you think about it. You don't want to just put a ball and paste it and be flattening it out. So yeah. roll it out first, because it's such a big piece. And I'm doing exactly the same as earlier. So what made you get into this then, Karen? Um. Well, people used to ask me for the moulds I'd used to decorate my cakes And with. did you just make moulds for yourself then? So, well, we, I, I had some books. I'd written some little instruction booklets. Yeah. And we used to take them out to sell um, with the cakes with them yeah. so people could see what was in the books, what cakes I'd made. And the first cake, it was snowman heads. Oh, little, that's little, that's Yeah, the Christmas one, snowman heads, yeah. And they've probably been one of your best sellers. So, they? yeah, so we just <laughs> thought then, I thought, well... At that time, there weren't that many moulds around. It's not yeah. like now, um, and there was none. There were none that looked like you'd modelled them. Yeah, you know, they all looked like fridge magnets, right. or like copies of ornaments, yeah. and things like that. So I thought, right, well, then people can still make my cakes, even if they haven't got the moulds. Yeah, and they're good. They can they can look at the snowman head and make that anyway. Yeah. so they could do either. That was the idea at first. Um, and it just went mad, it just took off from there. So we were the first to sort of bring out like the model figures, handmade faces, yeah. um, all sorts of things. Cupcake tops. Yeah. Um, you were the first to yeah. bring out the cupcake tops, yeah. Yes. Yeah. As far as I know, that's honestly. Well, I have to say, every yeah. mould that I've seen of yours has been useful. <laughs> I mean, I, yours were one of the first molds I bought. I'm not yeah. just saying that going back. Yeah. I started cake decorating in 2013. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, a lady introduced me to your moulds then, and I have to say the first one I yeah. bought was the snowman ones. <laughs> they still sell well today. Yeah. They're so popular, and they're another good one for cookies. Good to yeah. cookies with, really good. Okay, so that's exactly as before. Pushing in if it goes over the edge, um, or if it, if you roll this in, there's a gap. Just push it over to the side, okay? Yeah. And take it off with your thumb at the end, and this will come out as easily as before. Yeah. So turn it over. Wow, back. look at that. I love that. How one. easy. That's, that's one of my favorites. And that's so intricate, that, isn't yeah. it? I mean, yeah. to be fair, all your molds have got um, lots of details on, but that's absolutely yeah, beautiful. I was just thinking then I had a cookie of it, but I haven't. I can use this with the cookie dough as well, yeah. which I'll show you in a minute. So, yeah, that's again the same thing. So, yeah. easy to handle, and then that would just go straight on yeah. the side of your cake. So if it's um, jam or buttercream, you don't yeah. have to wet it then, would you? No, not for you. No. Just, no. no so you just no. So you just push it straight on, mold yes, it on. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Super. Yes. All right, so what's next? How are we yeah, time? Go with this, you know. How are we? Right, you do the next one. How are we <laughs> time? We've got as much time as you want, I'd say. Yeah? Right, I'll so, stick to this colour for yeah. my range. If, you, if you're doing a 6, 8 and 10 inch cake, how much of the sugar paste would you need? For covering it. For covering or for using a particular <laughs> mold? If it's for a particular can, can we Can we have both? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just in case. Well, it depends which mold. Um, it, it said using the... 6, 8 and 10 inch. Uh, a kilo. Using the sugar flour mold. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sugar flour, yeah. Oh. Yeah, well if you're using, if you want the top and the sugar flour mold as well, if it's a 10, 8 and 6 inch cake, you would need three packets of sugar paste. For three kilos. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And we sell the sugar paste, guys. <laughs> it's on the website, all oh. ready for sale. 
Karen and Barry have brought it with them. I've tasted the marshmallow, it's good. <laughs> right, so this is the Hydrange Cupcake. I'll do this very quickly. So if this was one of the first moulds I bought as well. I'll explain yeah. about the cookies now, okay, because um, now this is the recipe. I don't know who to point it at, so there you go. That's the recipe. John's just going to zoom in there. So if you play this video, play this back later, and pause it, yeah. or screenshot, it's yeah. the thing you can do, I think. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, I'll put it on the website yeah. later, and I'll take a photocopy yeah. of it. What, like I said before, what you need is a recipe that doesn't rise, because you're actually moulding the cookies. So if yeah. this is your cookie dough now, yeah. it's going into the mould, as with all the others, exactly the same way. Push it in and then take it out. But I just, I would dust the mould with the flour, with plain flour. Oh, right, yeah. Um, just turn it out and put it onto a baking tray. Right. Okay. So, so there's some here that I've made So we'll pretend they're biscuits. The ones in your hand are biscuits. Yes. But the one that you've just done in the mould yeah. is just sugar paste. You can put a lollipop stick in yeah. as well. So they're great for weddings and things. Um, but there's loads, that, like snowman heads are yeah. great on these sticks for children at Christmas yeah. and things. And they're lovely for weddings, afternoon teas. This one I've actually put some, I've made the cookie and then I've put some paste in just to a couple of the flowers and then stuck little icing flowers mm. on as well. So. I think that's a great idea. I don't mm -hmm. think anybody's thought about making them. Uh, yeah, you know, cookies in them. Yeah. So guys, what do we think about that? Making cookies in some of these moulds. Looking forward to all seeing what you've got. This is a lovely one as well, Karen. These are lovely oh, as yeah, well, aren't yeah. What's this one yeah, called? Yeah, a few there. That's our Gerbera cupcake Gerbera mould. I don't think we sell that one, but mm -hmm. you know what? We'll have to get you it well soon. John, okay? <laughs> we'll have to get it. Don't be buying that one yet. I'll get it in. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. We've got the Here we go, John. top She's on back. the cupcake. Yeah, I've just put that, put some jam or buttercream. I've just used my softened sugar paste because yeah. I forgot to bring the jam yeah. with me. Um, and now I've rubbed green powder colour really well into the brush and you just brush it into the centres of the flowers. This one also looks really good on cupcake bouquets. Yeah. You know those, the, um, yeah. I did this um, a board, like a bouquet on a board, which looked really pretty. So that's just some green, okay, into the centres, not much, and then you choose your colours you want. Um, oh, there's always so many. The colours look lovely on the powders when you um, look at them. I never know which ones to do. And again, the flat dusting brush, you see, just catches the edges of the petals. Yeah, see, that's quite a good tip, that, isn't it, how to do that? Like the green there, look how it's just pulling out the green from the centre. Yeah, and I did just it so quick. Bit of blue. You're yeah. not sitting there with a little brush yeah. trying to brush it in all the right yeah. places. It just... Um, you just put it on as quickly as you can. I mean, you can leave them plain. You can do them all the same colour. Do lots of different colours, but I just like doing two colours, about two colours on them. Well, those are like hydrangea colours, though, isn't it? Yeah, oh, this, yeah. Is, this is a nice one for yeah. um, hydrangea. So that's it. Something. And then finish it off with some luster, of course. If you've got a lot of them, you could use the spray luster. Yeah. But when you use spray luster, put all your cakes or cookies in a box, mm. spray it and put the lid on. Have you ever used that <laughs> edible glaze for, to, to spray it with them? No. Right. I not, had some not come in, I yeah. come into the warehouse yeah. the other week yeah. and he only ever uses edible glaze yeah, right. to give him that lovely nice shine. shine. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to spray this with a little bit of water now. Just a little. Right. And why would you do um, because I'm just going to attach, just sprinkle a little bit of edible glitter on it. Oh, right. But it's Magic Sparkles edible glitter. Right. The way to check if your glitter is edible is to see if it dissolves in water. Oh, so right. I put okay. the, that one here with its with the others. So you see the different colours. Yeah. They look really pretty. Done in all different colours. Yeah, they're beautiful. And the cookies, like I said, they were decorated exactly the same way. You know, you still brush your colour onto the edges of the petals yeah. and then you spray it and put some glitter on as yeah. well. So that's a I really good idea for wedding favours and stuff yeah. like that, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, I'm going to show you the this one. Oh, right, okay. okay. So this one's on the cake behind yes. me, this one, this isn't is it? This is the Art Deco Filigree. Right. And I'm going to put luster into this one as well. Yeah. So you're putting the lustre already into it? Yeah. Yeah. 
When? So this isn't your cornflour, this no. is the luster, luster straight away. Because the paste will come out really shiny, right. as you saw with the pearls. Um, I'm putting plenty of it in because it is so warm and sticky to yeah. it. Sticking with the same colour now. <laughs> so, this is far too big, but I'll just take some off at the end. So we can just press it in. I'm just getting some corn flour on my fingers. It just shows how quickly how much you've created in such a short time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, when people watch me down, they say, oh, she does it every day. She's done hundreds. How many of you done? You know, it's just so quick or whatever. But <laughs> Donna Priestley says, I've been married 30 years next month, but I'm in love with all these moles. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one, Donna. And I met Donna's husband, he's lovely. Oh, he's <laughs> going to have to be buying a load of more now. Oh. So there you go, that's ready to come out. So you just turn it over and bend. That is sitting there a little bit because uh, it's so sticky and warm. Oh. But it usually just peels out like that very, very quickly. It's all right. How lovely is that? It's okay. And then again with your lustre brush over. But you see on the cake here, they're painted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. with the gold afterwards, which is nice. So if you come over here, John, on this cake here. Yeah. Okay. Now they're flat. You see that they're flat. So kept that, Carol said that those are flat mm -hmm. there. But what you can do is stretch yeah. the edges. We're going to show Poor them John, in a second. Hold on a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so these are flat. And then if second. we... John just comes Focus. round to you now. Oh, okay. You can here. stretch the edges. So if you put a finger at the side of the frill and just stretch it, if I turn it sideways, it might be easier. I'm not pressing down, I'm just keeping it still really while I stretch it like that. That's good. You see? So I'll is that how you now. did it on the back? Like yes, the, yeah, the one at the back. Once mm -hmm. they've stretched, they will stay like that. They're not going to flop or go back. Yeah. They will stay as they are. If I turn it that way, it's easier to see, yeah. isn't it? And then you just lift that on and attach it to the cake with your glue or water. Yeah. And that you can do them in layers as well. Yeah. Like, uh, so that's on that cake. Just lift it up the back there, John. You can see that cake there. Yeah, really it's really pretty. Let me zoom in there. And I've used the little pearl drops. Just focus in a minute there. I've just zoomed in there. <laughs> so that's really lovely. So what do we think of that, ladies? So now we have to wait for the 30 second delay for all the lovely waves and everything again. <laughs> oh. I'll just uh, <coughs> squeeze it away, they are, they're all coming now. <laughs> so this is a very popular rose, Karen. So this yes. one is your rose uh, yes. one. Yes, I have to do this one because yeah. um, lots of people, they always, even yeah. they come back to me, they say, oh, bought that. That you know, rose, six yeah. months ago or whatever. I saw your peony one as well, that does oh, very yeah. nice as yeah. well. Yeah, they go nice together. Yeah, but so. Everybody just has a thing about roses, don't yeah. they? Yeah, I've cold flowered that. But what I'm going to do is do three different colours in it. Instead right. of just putting one colour in, I'm going to put three shades in. So we'll start with the darker colour. Okay. And just get it smooth before it goes in. Well, nobody seems to be having problems now at the moment. Oh, oh Maria's earth is just froze. <laughs> All stunning. Cat oh. Riley, love, love, love. Maria, she's lost us again. Oh. Lynn, Feather, I've got most of Karen's moulds. They're superb. Oh. Yeah, we've got the new one yet, though, Lynn. <laughs> we've got it for sale here at Sugar and Crumbs. Okay, I've just pushed that paste in and I pressed really hard in the middle. It's not going to stick. It wouldn't dare. Right. <laughs> Um, okay. Right, where have I hidden my glue? There we go. So, just a little bit of water would do, but just a or glue. Just into the centre and very thin. If you go to the edge of the petals, yeah. when you press the next paste on, the glue will go out into right. the mould and make it stick. So keep it really in the centre. So why would you not just put all the sugar paste in in one go? Um, it, probably would, it probably would stick together, but making it stick together, you've got to press hard. Yeah. So I pressed hard the first time. Yeah. If I press hard again, if that's slightly domed, the paste could push out to the sides. I've just realised I missed it. You're doing two different colours. Yeah, three. That's why. Three, three different, different colours. <laughs> I missed it. Wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Oh, no, we're not trying to help everybody. I was just reading the comments. Yeah, Sorry about that. You're helping So you everyone. put the first bit here because that's a darker colour. Yeah. Now you're yeah. going to do the second colour yes. over the top. Yeah. And then you'll yeah. do a third. So Fantastic. I've just flattened that, made it smooth and flattened it out. 
and then it's going into the mould and then all you've got to do is push it into that layer, into those petals, okay? Yeah. So yeah. it's not going over the edge. Let me just ask you a question. Yes. Shall we, shall we, Charlene has asked, for the cookies, yes. do you put the mix in the mould and then press it out straight onto the baking tray? Yeah, or onto yeah. the worktop and then put it on the and tray. The, yeah. the moulds okay. don't go in the oven. No, definitely um, don't put the moulds in the oven. 90% of people who come to our stand all say, oh, the moulds go in the oven. I think, no. <laughs> it would take you forever to make 30 cookies. You just have 30 moulds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, dear. Anyway. Yeah, so no, make loads of cookies, then put them yeah. in the oven. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they're so, I just think they're so pretty. They're so nice. So, Mick yeah. Robinson has said, um, loves your moulds. So, um, Carol Simpson says, I think I'll be spending a fortune. <laughs> Good, Carol. We've got lots of <laughs> moulds on our website, sugar and crumbs, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. So, Karen's now putting the third colour on for our rose now. Yeah, this is just white. It was All a right. dusky pink. Not too dark. That's such a good idea. I never thought about doing it. They were the two shades there. So we've yeah. gone from the darker pink to the paler to the white. And that will really show up, really yeah. stand out. Okay, so that's ready to come out. Do you want to take it out? Come on then. Come here. <laughs> Watch me knock it off. <laughs> so you're gonna, what you're going to do is hold it there like that. Turn it over and bend it in half with your thumbs. Right, brilliant. So turn it over, bend it in half with your thumbs. It's out. Oh, it's out. Oh, yeah. look at that. <laughs> Wow, I didn't even feel it come out. Huh? No. <laughs> How lovely is that? And I'm so impressed with that because yeah. the two that you've done there, I yeah. thought that you'd yeah, coloured well, them so yeah. you had well, them now, just with your sugar that, base. That is fine as it is. That's yeah. a perfectly acceptable rose. Okay, yeah. put it on your cakes, it's fine. Beautiful. But you can pinch the petals now to make yeah. them finer and frillier. I'm just going to put some cornflour on my hand because it will melt otherwise yeah. the rose um so it's these three layers here i'm going mm -hmm. to pinch okay leave the middle you wouldn't be able to pinch yeah. that if you tried so you're just going to pinch the edges of the petals to make them thinner like that oh, well, look at that pinch thin and then just shape yeah so you pinch I'm it thin <laughs> and push in the middle and shape oh, like john's mum's joined us oh hello john's mum <laughs> hello dorothy oh. She's an hour late. Oh, <laughs> she joined us. Better than last week. Yeah. <laughs> so this layer exactly the same again. Just pinch, and you know you can sit in front of the TV yeah. with a tray on your lap and just make yeah. these. You don't need a, ro a rolling pin, a board, you know, yeah. cutters, petals. Yeah. So let me pad. just tell this question. Sharon Rose got herself confused. Yes. Sharon says, "Is that cookie dough?" I'm confused. No, Sharon. <laughs> Karen has actually used sugar paste here. What she's saying is, if you wanted to use cookie dough, you could do. Yes. So like you would end up with this. There you go. That this, this is a quite old rose. Yeah. Hence so, the horrible colour. Yeah. So <laughs> Karen's freshly Karen, baked. Karen's made one there and put it on a stick. And we've got the recipe. We'll be putting it on the website later. But the fresh one that she's made here, she's made with sugar paste. And she's used three colours, one for the centre. One, uh, one for the inner centre, one for the middle, and one for the outer. Now, this layer is slightly different. You see the way the petals overlap mm -hmm. yeah. and they look stuck together? If you put your finger at the side like that, turn your finger over, you pinch, you see what happens? It yeah. lifts, it separates the petal. Oh, look at that. And you do the same shape then. So you pinch the side, then the edge, yeah. and then shape. It's really monster design. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who does do all the designing? So how does yeah. it work then? How have you managed to get the daughters involved? Is it just one daughter? Just one daughter. Them? No, just one daughter. Yeah, and that's Alice. Um, yes, Alice, so. the youngest daughter. Um, well, she starts off, she loves art. Yeah. She, she's more like me, um, liked art at school, um, studied art, did some, what else, the makeup course, prosthetics, yeah. special effects makeup, all that. So she, she's done quite a few arty sorts yeah. of things. Not realising at the time, because they use silicon to, to make, you know, all the injuries yeah, you see on the, yeah. you know, all these sorts of things and moulds. So she's had sort of transferable skills, really. Yeah, And fantastic. yeah, that, that's... Um, I tell you, brought that to life, yeah. Karen. 
So you, you need to, to you do need to let that set before you put any colour onto it. Yeah. So when I say set, normally that's an hour, two hours, right. just for it to skin over. Yeah. And it will feel firm, but it will still yeah. be soft inside. And would you leave that eat. flat to dry, or would you yeah. put it in a cup or something? It's up to you. I mean, I yeah. don't really like shaping it up that way, yeah. really. I just like lying flat, flat. Yeah. or put it straight on top of a cupcake. Oh, look at that. How lovely is that? They're great for weddings, yeah. aren't they? I've got a wedding to do in a few weeks. Yeah. I think I might oh. do a few of them. Oh. <laughs> well, that's one. That's the same. I think they're the same colours, or yeah. more or less there. But I'm gonna, I'll do the colours on this one for you to see. Yeah, I just like a little bit of green into the centre. This is, a, what colour is this called? Kiwi or, yeah, kiwi, this one. Some, like a mossy green or a little bit of lime green. Just a tiny touch into the centres yeah. and then onto the outside petals on Got the edge. Got a new fly coming. Yeah. They're all joining yeah. in now. He's told all his mates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you see there, I've just caught the edges of the petals there. And then if you want to, you can put some luster over just to finish it off. Go on, give him a spray, Barry. I know you're dying to. <laughs> with the spray. I mean, realistic flowers wouldn't have luster on, but no. I think for pretty, pretty things. Yeah, but I think it really pretty yeah. them up. Yeah, so that's that's great. Yeah, yeah so... So Martin yeah. here is saying, Martin Dursley is saying, absolutely brilliant demonstration. Thank you so oh. much. Mm -hmm. I have totally engrossed and enthused um sarah williams amazing maria wilson says how long can you make these in advance for a wedding cake right the flowers the roses um, Eric says you make it yeah. look so easy it is yeah it is so what do we think guys come on oh the love hearts are coming this is what we want <laughs> karen's working hard here oh. we've been here for an hour and a half yeah. have we it's blown what time, time is it Ten. What time Ten. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go quick scan now, please. Can. Yeah, so there you see, I've just dusted pink into that, looks better already. Yes. The stale cookie. Yes. <laughs> <That's laughs> and then you can luster over. So everyone's top telling me how well. lovely. Karen's saying, Why won't oh. it play? Karen, what you'll have to do is watch it afterwards. You can watch these afterwards. Violet and Marie said, Wow, amazing. Uh, Wendy says, I can't wait to try these. Mm -hmm. Sarah, Sarah Williams, amazing. Everyone loves them. So Maria, the best thing to do is when we finish, we'll be downloading it to our Facebook page and then you can go back and watch it on your leisure and it will be on YouTube tomorrow. So guys, anybody who's had trouble getting through today, this will be on our page later for you to watch at your leisure. It means you can stop and pause and make yourself a brew, rewind if there was anything that you missed. And you can also watch it on YouTube tomorrow. Maria's here. She'll have it on YouTube as fast as she can. <laughs> so right. what have we got here? All Karen? I've done, you see here I use luster yeah. in the vintage brooch mould. Yeah. Um, and these are some of my favourite brooches on this vintage one. There's so very many. Insta, They're so it? pretty. They're just yeah. really pretty ones, these. So again, I've just put our paste in. Um, I'm just turn the mould over and just bend it back. And there's one yeah. of the brooches. Everyone's just saying how beautiful they are. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. That's gorgeous. Lovely, but these, yeah. there's, there's some lovely, really pretty things yeah. on this one. Um, and really, I mean, that is all I've, I've sort of got out ready to show. So Elaine Kenny's so, saying, where yeah. do you get them? Elaine, they're on our website, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And you just go to Karen Davies. If you shop by brand, Karen Davies, all these moulds that she's using tonight are on our website. Geraldine, all lovely moulds, hard to choose which ones. Like the pearls, well done Karen, they're all beautiful. <laughs> Anthea, I'm so engrossed watching, can ha I can hardly comment tonight. Yes. Oh come on girls, <laughs> just keep pressing those love hearts, that's all we want. You don't need to say any more. She's done a fantastic demo Karen tonight. Right, so... Yeah, I could keep going yeah. until midnight. Maria's <laughs> going to, Maria's going to, Maria says she's going to have to do oh. plenty of overtime so she can buy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so there you go. That's another one there. But, you know... And that's all from one mould, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, well, there are three of them. There's still others in there. Yeah. They're my three all favourites. All the love hearts are coming, Karen. Oh. They're just loving it. That's what we like. <laughs> so this is what she likes, Karen. Look, plenty of support. Really enjoying tonight. I love the flowers. So, uh, Karen Davies has just joined, so I think your daughter has just appeared. Oh, it is, yes. <laughs> she 
on my account. Yes. It'd be a bit strange if you just yeah, she's probably going to tell me what I've forgotten now. I've finished. <laughs> you can so, say, uh, so have you got anything else to show us, or should we just um, recap over everything that we've done? I mean, um, there's other, there's a. Uh, no, Do you? Really what's your favourite yeah. mould, Karen? Oh, your it changes. Favorite. It changes. People say that to me and ask her, what's your favourite flavour, what's your favourite nozzle? It changes all the time. I, yeah. I mean, I love the rose. I, I think the rose think, is always yeah, going to be a favourite, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and there's so, there's so many of them I yeah. really like, and the sugar flowers as well, yeah. this one. Yeah, and that's such yeah. an easy one, yeah. the way that came yeah. out. But now that's I just, now so I do love this one as well, the yeah. buttercream flowers. So that one's so yeah. lovely there. As I use each one, I think, oh, this is my favourite, and then yeah. I go on the next one, I think, oh, this is my favourite. And what would you do to colour that? Would you always leave well, this one white? No, no, no. You can put your colour on. You can Go on then, let's just do a little bit. Look. I mean, before you put the paste into the mould, you can pick out individual flowers and put a different colour paste in. Oh, that's just a do, good idea. I'll yeah. just do a tiny little bit to show Go you. On. Okay. So we put the Sorry, John. In. I know John's back's broken, but he's doing well. He's, he's being brave tonight because Barry's here. Oh, oh. And Barry, we've got to give everyone a flash of Barry who's sat in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> He's sat in the chair and John is so jealous. He's had his second bottle of water. <laughs> water and fly spray. <laughs> So there, I've put in a different colour. Here we go. So I'm going to do this in different colours. Yeah, I've just put that in. I'll just do a few just of them. Just going to do a small amount. And then I'll put some white over the back. Yeah. And then, oh, you can, I mean, you can just brush your, your powders on. Whatever you want. But it does look so easy. And I've got to be honest, now watching you, you can yeah. see how easy it is. It makes yeah. me want to even yeah. go and have a go. Yeah, you <laughs> should, yeah. But there's so many things in sugar craft now, isn't there? So much you can get. Um, you just don't have time to do it all sometimes. Because, you know, I've got all these moulds. And especially when I'm demonstrating, you know, I'll put things out and I'll think, oh, those colours look lovely together. Yeah. I must do a cake like that. Yeah. And then you just don't have time. No, you don't. I know. <laughs> yeah. I've got loads of ideas of things yeah. I want to do. But yeah. You just don't. yeah, so those now... Let's just put a tiny, tiny little bit of glue on the back. Right. So that's a good tip. So Karen's putting in different colours here. She's just going to do a little bit and um, a little bit of this actual mould. And what she's done is just put a little bit of edible glue on the back of those colours. And then she's going to roll the white over the top on this section. The fly's going to get rolled into it in a yes. minute. Be no, it's the flower with it's the fly it's on it. All his friends. <laughs> I hope the thing is, it's so warm in here and every window yeah. open and everything. Yeah. yeah, when the lights are on, that's it, yeah. isn't it? They're just... I know, we're going to have the moths next, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm just getting very crowded on my table. Yeah, do you want me to move and get them <laughs> I'm up fine, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. You see, this time, last time I just rolled the paste in really hard. Yeah. If I do that now, I might push that coloured paste. Yeah. So you do have to be a bit more careful. It's really good doing this in the hydrangea cupcake top, yeah. putting the different colours in. That looks really good. The back is very sticky because it's so warm. Mm -hmm. Everything's oh, going. It's all right. It's fine. Okay. So I know that they're at the beginning there and somewhere there. Push it in the sides. So I'm only doing this little tiny bit. So I'll turn it over. Just peel that off. If you've got any more comments on it, you've, you've got your coloured. You've got your coloured flowers. One piece of advice you would give a novice, Karen. Oh, that's a very good question. Oh. That. So one piece of advice for a novice. Don't run. Don't bother. You can walk. <laughs> yeah, don't. You know, things like this make it easy for yeah. you. Um, Sometimes you, you can get a bit carried away with cake decorating, yeah. with things you see, you know, people doing. You've just got to get things you know will work. I was like going to say, right if, if somebody, the right if somebody said that they wanted uh, to yeah. buy a mould, what would be the first starter mould you would start them with? Um, probably the flower. Do you know, I was thinking so that. much on that yeah. one. I was There's thinking, so yeah, because the very first mould mm -hmm. I bought was your cupcake, yeah, your yeah. snowman mould. Yeah. But if you want to do flowers, mm -hmm. I actually think your brand new mould now mm -hmm. is actually going to save money. One, because yeah. there's so many. I mean, look at all mm -hmm. these designs on here. Yeah. All, yeah, but even, all from one mould. You know, mold. even like these, the sugar flowers, if a beginner 
it's very daunting to get yeah. a cake in front of you to have to cover the yeah. whole cake and get it looking perfect yeah most people can roll out it's like rolling out pastry this yeah. you're using icing sugar with your fondant or sugar paste yeah. rolling it out rolling it out you can actually put it on top of your cake quite thinly yeah um, and then cut with a knife or scissors and then press it thin down and then put your edge round you yeah. know, the side, Beautiful. design whichever side yeah. that you're going to do around the cake. Yeah. And you see how easy that is to handle. I mean, that was made a few minutes ago, yeah, wasn't it? Absolutely. And it's still soft enough yeah. to go round. Absolutely lovely. Mm -hmm. Looks really nice. So just show John the camera there with the bits that you've done with the colours. Yeah, I there. just added in some colour paste. Yeah. But so that you do have to be colors. yeah you do have to be careful rolling in though that you don't press too hard yeah. and push them you know distort them yeah. because if there's slightly too much coloured paste in yeah. it would push out sideways. But that's quite a nice yeah. effect, that, yeah. isn't it? But that, that's sort of what I did. You no, know, you can pick out individual flowers to yeah. put onto like the cookies as well. Yeah. So. So after you bake your cookies, you put those on. Yes. Yeah. 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 And do Super. your colours and everything. Yeah. Yes. Carrie's not doing a good job of these flies. <laughs> no. <laughs> <The> blaming. <laughs> so, Karen, now is, just, is that you done then? Or is there anything so. else you'd like to show us? I think us? so. Um, right. I'm, I can go on forever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get him? Oh, we'll get him. Right, okay then, so let me just tell you now then. So, guys, didn't Karen do well? So she's been with us an hour and a half. She can't believe time's flown by. John's back to broken. Barry's laughing his head off. And I've had a great night. Oh, <laughs> rest for a change. I've, had to, <laughs> I've not had to do anything. Mm. So please say a massive big thank you to Karen for coming oh, along to join us. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, we really appreciate it. And I am going to get us to come back on catch up. We're going to have a cup of coffee and we're going to come back on catch up. And just so you guys can all go and get a cup of coffee as well, we'll come back on catch up. We'll ask Karen some questions and I'll tell you about the Alzheimer's event and also who our prize winners are. So the time is half past nine. So should we say 15 minutes, guys? Does that give you a chance to knit to the loo, get a coffee? Yeah, <laughs> 15 minutes. Bye. Bye.